get involved with walls on a couple of fronts, one with the cleanups, one with just the fun paddles, um, but it takes a, a few bucks to get it all done. They do a lot of the river testing in and, in and about our area waterways. So a great organization, and uh, one day we're going to have some ecotourism on that, on that uh, river as well. One day we're going to have a nice river camp, one day. Ecotourism, well, it's funny how I understand that uh, I was supposed to spend about $35,000 on ecotourism. I wonder what that could go for. <laughs> I think, think the first purchase is going to be about a buck twenty-two. Uh, on a whole bunch of acres of land. Under 23,000, that's the appraised value, which is dirt cheap for 74 acres because it's all floodplain. And the owner, Helen Tapp, of land between the rivers, down between the Lula and the Withacoochee River, she's not trying to make a profit, she's just trying to get her money back. Well, that, and she's a fourth generation owner of this land and wants it in, a, in a, some sort of conservancy and wants it to be an educational tool. And that's she, right. She's wonderful. That's right. So, if some of the local powers at B could rustle up about $123,000, that land could be attained to add to the nearby park. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Um, and matter of fact, even if we have to move forward ahead of schedule, we'll see if there's not a program to, to pay us back down the road as well. Hope to hear more about that on the meeting on that subject. Don't try. Oh, good. Yes. Thank you. I'll, I'll be there. A Zoom call, even.